Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? What's uh? What's going on? Something what's what cooking? I you tell Talking me. About video Dude. games. Yeah. What are you? What, what's up with you, Brett? Which uh? Which video game are you guys talking about? Uh, I just my run in poker roguelike just died. It's called Bellatro. Oh, Bellatro. Yeah, poker oh, roguelike. Bellatro's he keeps great. just describing it as the like the genre and niche it is, and no one knows what he's talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, this is me off. Okay, man. if no one knows what it is, <laughs> I know I'm, what it I'm is. gonna say Bellatro I'm playing Bellatro. They're not gonna know that either. Well, they're gonna look uh. up the words if you do that. <laughs> I okay. played. Let me let me see what happens when I type in poker roguelike into fucking Google. Oh boy. Here oh, we who would have thought the first thing that comes <laughs> up is the Oh, here Fuck we go. That. I don't remember Bellatro. Bellatro. Yeah, I played the Bellatro. I played the I played the demo and then the dev was like, "Here's a code." And I went, "Thank you." And I have yet Whoa. to install it cuz I haven't had time. But it's uh it's great. Highly recommend it. It's good for Always. wasting time. It's a it's a poker roguelike. How yeah, how have we not yeah? How have we not done this before? You know. Okay, so I was really hoping you guys were gonna yell at each other more because I have to upload two oh, tracks. Shit. No, yeah. it's okay. Just like give us a chance, and we'll find something to argue about. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Mm -hmm. um um, you guys oh, fuck. fucking suck at this. Holy shit. Fuck. Dude. Sure for I need more time than that. Yeah. Can I what? <laughs> Nothing, man. Yeah, fucking quitter. It, it would have been forced, you know, because Brett told us, like, we need to look for something. No, to you're right. You're you guys right. fucking suck at arguing. You're right. It would have been forced. It would have been forced. It's. You know what? Next week, it's, I'll. It's ne next week, I'll, I'll, hot. I'll upload these. Wait, what's not hot? You would yell at me for that. Listen, man, I know that I occupy like a really specific niche, but also like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go um, <laughs> you're like a you're, uh, you're like a low IQ degenerate then. Yeah. <laughs> I have a very high IQ. Uh -huh. OK, prove it. I'm like super smart. Yeah. You ever heard of Mensa? I'm part of that. <laughs> That's fucking stupid, dude. You're fucking <laughs> dumb. You're stupid as fuck. Only, only a low Just IQ troglodyte could be tricked into joining fucking Menza. <laughs> oh my god. You see, I'm not joined. I was invited, and I declined it. <laughs> That's... Yeah, what Wait. now? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm kind of going in between this thing where I'm like, maybe I will have time to upload this with some of the stupid shit you guys are saying, and then... It's kind of going the back and man. forth. Dude, I think Surefor almost got Scientology. Dude, if you had like, accepted that, <laughs> if you like accepted you that, you would have almost like you you like they were gonna Scientology you. They were this going to lie, just so you know. Oh well, yeah, I know it's I know it's a play in my space, Surefor. Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, scamp around in the space. Down. Noob down. Surefor, you're a terrible improv partner. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> well, I'm a perfect yes answer. Where's your yeah? Um, okay, uh, Judy and Surefor, you are in a bakery. Uh, Surefor, you're with Judy. <laughs> oh. And, okay. yes, and, okay, Judy, your turn. <laughs> yes, and getting stabbed. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get for trying to steal my family bakery. <laughs> you stupid oh. bitch. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Ew. I just got my headphones. Sorry. No, that's cool. I'm a perfect I, improver. I that was great. I think that was a little too real for me, though. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the death rattle really got. I have me. to like PG PG below. It's because I've been stabbed to death before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Okay. It's based on real events. Mm-hmm. I'm a method actor. So how's that fucking download uh, going, Brett? Don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> please get. If anything, get me out of here. Okay. So, come on. <laughs> All right, uh, Tomato, you are in a bakery with Sure Four. <laughs> fucking doing this, dude. <laughs> All right, you start I'm not a tomato. fucking like monkey with symbols on the side of the fucking road with a hat next to them. Okay. You start, you start first, Tomato. I'll go after. <laughs> yes, and. Tomato. Oh my god. I'm holding yeah, bread. Yeah, he's. 
<laughs> he's got he's got the he's got the apron. He's holding the baguette. What are you gonna what are you gonna do about that? I walk up to Shafar, I guess I, I stab him in the neck. Oh I block it. With, I, with, <gasps> with what? Parentheses, I've been in the US military special forces on the CQC. I leave the knife on the ground and I leave. I grab your hand so you can't leave. Hey, where do you think you're going? You just hey, that's uh, God's God. That's uh, that's God. God RP. You can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to yeah. say you attempt but, to grab his hand. Hey, you have to say of, you attempt and then roll. Yes, ending is God RPing sometimes, or else they can just leave. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> it's psychotic. It's what? counter God RP. What? <laughs> Brett, is it okay if I just roll acrobatics on yeah, Zob yeah, to go see for if it. I get out of the <laughs> map? D99. Yeah, That's an 18. D399. All right, roll your fucking athletics, D99. doofus. D99. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, 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 guys, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm right there. I do apologize. <laughs> yeah, well, as soon as someone brings in God RP, you have to out God RP them. <coughs> That's then it becomes that... like a Dragon Ball Z episode. Yeah, then it becomes 30, 30 episodes of a uh, planet blinks blowing up over you, five blinks minutes. Behind you, blinks behind you. Yeah. Four minutes. Blinks behind you. Four I've minutes had... until this planet blows up. Twenty episodes later, three minutes. Well, what is he gonna do when I say I attempt to grab your hand? Your attempt fails. I leave the store. What isn't that basically God RP? Too? That is also that is also God RP. That is that is correct. Exactly. So you got to God RP the God RP. -er. Well, I was waiting for him to fucking roll his attacks. Yeah, you know that's it when you chase did. after him, sure for honestly. Okay, that... No, we're in a we're in an RP of the minds, not D and D here. There's no rolling. Oh my god! Have you ever done improv you before? You fucking hear this guy, Brett? You are no. I'm talking about you, Tomato. You're D twenty pilled right now. Like you can't even yep. role play without you rolling. You're D twenty pilled. <laughs> First of all, how fucking dare you? Second of all, I had my entire delicious meal ready to play D and D. Right, we wait got... fucking twenty minutes because Shane's so, tragic so, internet problem. And then so the fucking music's not uploaded. So all right, what the fuck is going on? Something's fucking wrong here. That's not me. I was RPing. Don't swing at me like that. All right, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm getting a little toxic. No, it's all right. It's I get it. It's uh. Thank I, fucking God, dude. We needed a bit of toxicity. Yeah, just get it out. It's it's like you know you get bit by a snake. You got to get that poison out of your body somehow. It's got to expel the toxicity. My toxic, so I just talk. <laughs> you Why do. So you do sound a little. <laughs> I think you did. There you go. Why is this guy so normal? There you go, champ. <laughs> this thing pisses me off, honestly. The fuck? All right. Let's get to it. Uh, I've successfully uploaded everything. I'm ready to go. Everyone's here. I'm going to make sure your characters are Zob, Fred, Nikolai, Just Sylvia. You're not sure. You're not dredging. Let me dredge. Yes. <laughs> Just kill me. Bro, let me bring the dredge. I just want to dredge a little. You <laughs> is, know? is there something to noodle on fucking <laughs> enemy, dude? <laughs> yeah, I'm just there. I mean, it would be kind of fucked if, like, I made a fishing book and then went, You can't fish! You can't fish anywhere! <laughs> just really just shooting myself in the foot there. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, pff, I don't even want to go into a recap for last session. Last session was. You guys were were going wild, but I, I do feel like that, you know, especially with this group, you need to be wild and in a town every once in a while before you head out there and continue the adventure. And and that's and that's exactly uh, that's exactly what happened. You know, uh, Sylvia melted a person's brain, uh, got a bet, uh, <laughs> you know, got the got the bet back. Did did uh, Lily? Did Sylvia also? Am I remembering this correct? Rob a uh, hospitalized man as well. Hmm. No, no, no. I was taking what is rightfully mine. Right. You're my, you, the, the, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I see. So the fact that you were able Huge. to take his money meant it never really belonged to him to begin with. Is that what you're exactly. saying? Exactly. She was helping okay. him get it. Oh, well, you did yeah. take he more than what was owed. But if, it, if we're following the first well, logic, I mean, you also have to consider that they had to do the whole part. trip to the hospital to pick it up. It, it, and thank that you. Include thank some you. Extra yeah, there was work done for it. You know, <laughs> there was, there was a, so there was a fee. Start getting paid like I, extra for how much we're walking or like what's going on. I burned a spell slot. 
They burned, burned like all... 40 spell slots. On he burned that, a lot like, of spell wallet, slots. So... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you had level three spell slots after that. <laughs> Next time you just walk up to someone and you suggest and you say, please give me your wallet. I work for a charitable organization. And they might just do that for one. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Where's the fun in that if you're not looking at chat and chat's going, what the fuck is happening? You're like, yeah, that's right. You better you better step off. Get ready. Uh so yeah, Lily uh or sorry, Sylvia got uh Whoa. got paid. We're gonna need to talk after this. Hey, <laughs> I didn't name the NPC Brett. All right, I got a little mixed up there. I got a, a slip of the tongue. No, I understand. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Same here. We 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 all we all fan, we all mess up every once in a while. It's all good. Um. So, oh, that's right. And then there was a giant drug arc. Oh my god, this was a fever dream. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. DM keeps giving you drugs. It's hard to. <sighs> it exists away. in the world. Yeah. So Zob got took a painkiller, got some temporary hit points, got more painkillers at the hospital. Uh, Fred. Wait, when's, the o, when's the OD roll? It, Fred is not for a while. Fred is currently, you know, did, did a little bit of gambling. Uh -huh. um, I think in the end, Fred did uh, uh I did got get a like five hundo yeah he did he did net uh, net positive and the fight club is really excited about that um and excited about you guys and the fact that you're able to to murder so effectively that it's <laughs> it works very well in the uh -huh, fight club uh, -huh, uh, -huh. uh and then you all went over to a prospector uh to try and discover exactly what this shard is and if it's worth any money uh you come to find out that the shard that you had gathered from the fallen uh the, the the fallen excavator that had been installed within uh seems to generate a type of power that when it comes to like scientific reasoning through uh like like uh physic formulation it it it, it seems to be doing things out of the ordinary and the, and the prospector fran is very interested in this because this is this is this could potentially be a new element a new material um and could have could could there could be a lot of money that could be made off of something so mysterious so she has heard of a living of a location of a living forest uh where she found one of these shards as well um, but also mentioned that the forest itself is very dangerous, so she's unable to go there. And she was actively looking for individuals who were willing to brave um, through the Ganymedian wastes over to this living forest. The living forest is a phenomenon on Ganymede where a forest uh, quite literally sprouts out of of the of the wastelands, lasts a bit, and then leaves and dies just as at just as it appeared almost as if it's this like living entity almost that seems to be migrating around the uh the surface of Ganymede. so you've been given the location of where this forest is uh you guys have taken a rest i have taken your 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 credits uh from you and from the um not all of them obviously uh from the long rest that you've done at, at a local inn or, or hotel or motel. Uh, and uh, afterwards, you all uh, leave to, to venture forth to this forest. While you're traveling through the wastelands, of course, you are equipped with your, 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 your air suit. As you're traveling the wastelands, also the also chat there is a black screen right now because a little theater of the mind before we get into the forest. Is there anything in particular that you are doing, or does any of you want to talk to another party member? Little little moment of role play. Or I have to fetch my skeleton. Do we? You mm. do fetch your skeleton very easily. You head over to the guard. Says the skeleton. Hey, what was his name? Ben. 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 Very very well behaved ben. skeleton. Good. <laughs> was a was an absolute delight. Uh, can, you've done such a good job. Can I know your uh, your name, uh, your rank in this establishment? Are you just a guard or something? You can call me guard. Just no, I'm guard. Just, no, I'm just kidding. I had a name and then I lost it. That's okay. Uh, 
I need his name so I can eventually pretend I'm him in case of right. Me. <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, how do I, how, I'm trying to get the ranking there. Wait, does disguise self make it so I can like be wearing guard armor and shit? Probably not, right? Uh, as an illusion, yes. But if I believe with disguise self, if anyone, you know, like pats you on the back or something, it like goes through the disguise. Yeah, I, so I just can't touch say. me. Right. <laughs> Don't touch me. It sh yeah. As a guard, is should be easy enough to command. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Names. My uh, name is guard. N names officer uh, Kadan. You can call me Kid. Kadan or Kid. Either way is fine. All right, thank you. You got a rank or anything? Uh, it's just a, uh, it's just officer. Just the officer? guards, well, the guards around these these parts. All we do is uh, protect and serve. All right, thank you. Have a nice <laughs> day. Uh, you too. Thank you for stopping by, Curia. We'd love to see your skeleton again sometime. No, I'm sure we'll be back unless I die. Understood. Don't die. So you guys will leave um, Cario with Ben and in tow. Ben, by the way, giant, like this huge, this large skeleton. This thing is, is, is somewhere up around eight or nine, <clears throat> eight or nine feet tall as uh Oh yeah, that's what the extra thing we need to do. I need to buy him a club. Oh, would you like to buy a club before? Yeah, if I got the money. Okay, so you're gonna be looking for a large club. So one second, since we're not really leaving town yet, I might as well get the map up here. Burn. Burn. No. Okay. And then I will move you all over here. Whoa. Uh, I came too, apparently. Move you all the way back. <laughs> there it is. Oh, bye. Uh, so, Ben over here. Um, Go ahead and give me a 1d20 roll. Large weapons uh, usually aren't uh, readily available, but sometimes they are. Ah, with a 12, a large weapon will be available so you're trying to get a large Yay. club is that correct yes because i'm pretty sure i need to use a <clears throat> club right yeah club works simple weapon works uh, any any kind of weapon works honestly all right i just need something large all right so you you s said club so we will stick with club a large uh or are you what i'm gonna say um are you looking for something two-handed or one-handed Probably two-handed for the big boy. For the big boy, all right. Uh, then in that case, you'll be going for a great club, a large great club specifically, uh, which would be a, which does 2d8 damage of 1d8 because it is a large weapon. And its value, ah, you could actually purchase it for uh, three credits. Three? Yep. Yeah, it's that's a, just a big stick, man. It's just a giant that's a fucking steal. stick. Now, I'll take it. The only ones that could effectively use it are large characters. Uh, so, <clears throat> like, you can't wield it. You can't, like, Dark Souls wield it and this go to the swing. This is for my skeleton. Yes. Uh, let me check your features. I'm going to go skeleton, minion. So I'm pretty sure you get something extra. Great. Not great Using arm. Large. Great club. Uh, yes, he, he can wield a, a large weapon. Which yeah. means... Oh, that's right. Average dead dice. So we're doing... One second, four... Oh, my God. There we go. So this thing's going to... I don't remember. Uh, yeah, you guys can, yeah, you guys can I long did rest. I not change my spells. Yeah, if you, didn't, it, if you did not long rest, you may long rest now. Uh, your The Skeleton Minions Great Club deals... Uh, n uh, what is your proficiency bonus? Three? Uh, 12 points of damage a swing. That's very impressive. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> I'm all ready to go now. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah. The, the thing, also, the thing is your large skeleton has double the hit points. So 72 HP. And can wield large weapons. Yeah, sure. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty one. 
Its AC dropped by one, but its strength increased by one. Uh, so actually, yeah, we're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> the weapon will actually deal 10 points of damage. Uh, sorry, uh, 13 points of damage instead of 12. That's it. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Okay, is there anything else you guys would like to purchase while you are in town? This would include uh, things like potions uh, or other equipment, or if there's a particular magic item uh, that you're looking for. Um, no. Understood. I then speak for all of us. <laughs> that yeah, word? I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about it, so no. I don't think okay. I have enough money to make anything for excavator stuff. Uh, you do have, let me double check here. Yeah, you haven't really done any big spending, right? Not really. I mean, I know there's something I want to make, but I'm not going to have, I'd be right. short, uh, a bit of money still. I need, yeah, let, let me, let me make sure. I have 663 credits. I yes. wanted to make the excavator, excavator fist, fist, right? but that's another, that means I'd need another like 120 or something. So. I would give you the money for that. Ooh. It's almost like people Same. in your party have the money. <laughs> it's just as, as I have seen in this party, it seems like everyone's kind of fighting for their fucking lives for these credits. Okay, so I just figured if I went up and asked someone, they might froth at me. I guess you'll never know unless you try. <laughs> All right, so an excavator fist can be can use eight hundred and ten credits, uh, but also check it something real quick. You do have three grafted scraps that you have excavated from the excavator. Hee hee hoo. Or it's on Fred right now. Each of those are worth 100 credits. If you use them for a crafting project, or if you use them for the haunted, uh, or the excavator fist project, because these are excavator parts, that 100 credit becomes 200 credits when it comes to crafting. Oh, oh. So you have uh, 300 credits worth of excavator parts, essentially. And if you wish to use that in a project with excavator recipes, uh, it's double that. So effectively, Fred has 600 credits worth of materials to craft Jesus. that. Yes. Got it. Well, if I got one of those parts, I'd use my credits for the leftover remainder. And then we could use the rest of the parts for other stuff people want. Were we planning to make anything else with it? I don't remember. I mean, someone was talked about the laser cannon at some point, which, like, I don't know. All I know is that the gloves is good for me. I want the excavator mm -hmm. fist. He would uh, like the fists. I would like the fists. He wants Fre them so bad. Fred, will you hand off a grafted uh, piece of uh, metal? Yeah, he just has to ask me. Hey, can I have that? <laughs> have what? The thing, that thing. What I want. Make, uh, I want. I want. Use your words. Words. Are you okay. digging you this that? bag right now? Like see that, that scary that. piece of metal sticking out of your bag? Yeah. What do you want to use I it want for? It. I'm gonna use it to make gloves so I can punch better because my hands aren't working good enough. I guess. Well, that makes sense. Here, I have one. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Stop <laughs> waddles away. <laughs> Amazing. You just All go right. into a corner and start shoving shit together. I mean, he's got the smithing. <laughs> yep. Uh, tools. So. Uh, are you spending your 600 credits or 610 credits uh, for the... Yes, for th I'll use 610 credits and then the part for the uh, remainder. Beautiful. Very good. All right, so let me read the excavator fist. And I will also message it for those that prefer reading. So the excavator fist. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Zopsilus. Hey, Zops. <laughs> ah, the excavator fist. Uh, so, uh, even though it counts as a flail, uh, you could just actively use this to make unarmed weapons. So, while wielding a Tina's weapon, you gain access to the following properties. It's an unarmed weapon, which means you can you make unarmed strikes with this weapon. An armed strike gains the properties of this weapon. It's considered a plus one weapon. Uh, so now your, your punches, uh, do plus one to hit, plus one for damage. Knock prone is a special, uh, three times, uh, per long rest ability when you successfully hit a creature with this weapon. You could have them make a strength or dexterity saving throw, DC 15, and on failure, uh, the target is knocked prone. So. Very cool. Excavator fist. Let me go ahead and add this. 
<clears throat> Doing a little bit of housekeeping before we begin today's session. Uh, I will tune to that while we are traveling. Yes, absolutely. Uh, hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll use I'll use that excavator fish. <clears throat> so you will be sorry about that. Proficient. You will be attuned. Uh, it is a flail. I don't think flails actually have the only pr no no property. I, that's what I thought. So no property. Um, how much how much damage is your slap doing right now? One d eight. One d eight currently. Okay, so this will also do 1d8 and will increase in damage as yours, your damage increases. So 1d8 plus mod plus one. And we've got a plus one. Okay. And I'm just gonna say, mm, how do we track that? I can just add it to my resources to track the, uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, you have plenty of resources. That's awesome. Yeah. So excavate, uh, excavator fist, three out of three. Resets on long rest. Beautiful. All right, and your DC for that is going to be 15. So I'm going to equip that. I'm going to make it uncommon. Oh, it's gonna. It's market value is 810 credits. Uh, it is an uncommon item. Uh, oh, actually, um, yeah, it's still uncommon. It's fine. And then let me go ahead and what was the last thing I was going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to add a strength saving throw as well. So when you do decide to do a, you know, a big old, a big old punch, we'll just use that button. All right. Excellent. Excavator Fist has been equipped and has been made. As part of your long rest, uh, you built this fist. We could probably it, make the unstable laser cannon too if someone wants it. Yeah, I mean, okay. if someone does want it. Um, I mean, we also have access to the wondrous items underneath at the bottom. That is yeah, true. We have um, the haunted excavator parts. We have a rare metal. I have a gemstone. I don't know if it's rare. Yeah, I mean, we are going into a scary new zen. It might be worth making mind, gear. Mm. You have two scraps remaining. And you still have the... Who's holding on to the Mysterious Shard right now? Because right now I have it in Me. Fred's inventory. Okay. Me. Because I have the the engineering scraper. Because I can scrape. I was delegated. Very good. Oh, just so you know, um, uh, 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 sa uh, salvaging and uh, carving no longer requires checks. They're just fun loot tables that we roll for now. Checks. Cool. Uh, checks, uh, when you make a check, uh, can be used for bonus stuff. So if you are proficient in a specific skill, uh, you can potentially get an extra piece of loot. Uh, you can increase, uh, your loot roll, uh, for one of those. So yeah, we, we just, it simplified and makes it a lot more fun. And so that we're not punishing people for not being, it, not having a specific skill, essentially, which is what I was trying to figure out. So we simplified it mm. and it's been working a lot better. Mm. <clears throat> Yo, so I will cool. put out a uh, vote here that um, the Bracers of Psychic Potency would work really well with Sylvia, who's been doing mostly psychic damage. Hmm. True, yeah. Ouch. Oh, the extra dice. Mm. Yeah, extra yeah, yeah, dice yeah, 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 every yeah. turn. I agree. I agree. That's, that's hot. <laughs> the Bracers of Psychic Memory. I'm going to not select someone. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the Bracers of Psychic Potency is a wrist slot item that requires attunement. It's an uncommon. Uh, while wearing an attuned to this item, you get the following properties. You gain resistance to psychic damage while you're attuned to this. And uh, you have Psychic Enhancement special uh, once per turn. Whenever you would deal psychic damage, you may add an additional damage dice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, so for example, if you were to use Vicious Mockery, which is now 2d4 damage, if you are attuned to these bracers, that becomes 3d4. Oh. Indeed. Uh, oh, that sounds pretty cool. 
it is uh 600 credits uh so right now as far as as materials go you still have two grafted scraps uh which can be used towards the pro if you use both of those it could be it counts uh, as 400 credits towards the project and then you could also just use uh credits as well i do have a lot of credits <laughs> tee -hee. Yeah, what's fucked is the <laughs> if you were if you did not saying you you guys are doing this, but if you were to use both gra grafted scraps, uh, you quite literally would spend your earnings. <laughs> uh, that your 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 gambled your well earned gambled earnings on these bracers. Can't I just pay for it on my own? You can, yeah. if you would like to do that as well. I just do that. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, okay, okay, shit. God damn. Chill, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No. <laughs> On a cantrip. That's good shit. I'm gonna be so useful now. Uh, She's so hungry. Bracers of psychic potent. Uh, potency. Excellent. Uh, so just as a as a friendly reminder, now that you are attuned to these, uh, any psychic damage dealt is halved as well. That's a really fucked up part. Hmm. Those bracers work with your psychic blades ability too. That is correct. They also work with your psychic blades ability. <gasps> Whoa! Any, any psychic dice. Yeah, any da any psychic dice damage uh, once per turn, you could just add a, an additional. Uh, yeah, you can just add an additional die. Wait, what die is it? Oh, just like whatever the die is. Okay, never mind. Got yep. it. I have some more yep. questions. Yeah, whatever the die is. Cool. So. I'm about to like mentally, um, what's the word? Wreck. Mentally murder them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the word. Melt their brain. <laughs> Melt their brains. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh no. I'm gonna be good. I use this power for good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We tried this. to go that route. Yeah? I don't think it worked. <laughs> I believe in third chances. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Wait, the last are... thing you do was literally like make someone give you money. Yeah, I, mean... I can afford these bracers. <laughs> God has a way. Hey, bracers hmm. are for uh, the wrist or, or arm Correct. or whatever. Correct. On okay. your wrists. Uh, and they're themed after the excavator. So Zob right now has these giant metal fists uh that are that kind of look like the 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 like the uh the caution of the uh of the excavator and your bracers as well are are, are like a, a fine attuned bracer metal uh and banded also kind of with those little little bit of uh the, that caution yellow that circles around it it gives off an ominous glow cool okay and then the last thing i need to do is add your resistance which is psychic all right, and then all you're going to be doing uh, whenever you roll a psychic damage, you're just going to roll an additional dice manually. Sound good? That sounds wonderful, Brett. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so that is... You guys did some crafting. That's great. You did. Uh, you got Excavator Fist. You got uh, the Bracers of Psychic Potency Wrist. Is there anything else you would like to do before leaving? Not that no. I can think of. Quest time. Quest time. Sorry, I... Tommy came out for a sec. <laughs> I uh, banish you to the uh, Shadow Realm. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! He's gone! <laughs> He's gone mad with power! <laughs> uh. All right. It's going to be a black screen for a little bit. I'm also talking to the chat that worries every time there's a black screen they're like should i be seeing something i gotta see my, my something screen's broke dude screen's uh, broke <laughs> i just like i just really fucking like how whenever you do a transition like this you have to go like okay you guys are gonna see a black screen for a little bit it's like a dentist that like has like their, their their <laughs> no listen listen it's like a dentist that has their hands in your mouth in your mouth and they're like hey you're gonna feel like a little pinch like just hang yeah. on just like uh, for a little while like i, <laughs> I you just, i know funny. you guys know it this is more for chat's benefit whenever yeah i know i know screen. they're the people they're the people they in the chair yeah they're they're in the chair right now it's just gonna be a little pinch it's gonna be fine it's not gonna hurt too much yeah. it's gonna be and fine all right 
so uh you guys are traveling again the wastelands of ganymede uh the the clouds are just kind of scattering all about moving through um all in all the trip itself after about a few hours of travel has been pretty uneventful uh if there's anything you guys are doing during the travel let me know looking Other. for dead bodies Ooh. okay 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 uh go ahead and give me roll 2d20 we're gonna do an unfavorable fate roll this means both 20s need to be 10 or higher oh Oh, one off. Uh, unfortunately, as you kind of go through here, you do not see any bodies along your travel. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Good. Good damn it. I um, have a question. Yes! Are the suits we have on because of just a toxic environment, or is it depressurized in any way or something? Oh, uh, great question. Uh, so it mm -hmm. is A, because of the toxic environment, um, but also the lack of oxygen that's just on the surface okay. itself. Uh, but then... if you're asking, it, if I take off my suit, will I just be crushed? Uh, yeah. The answer to that is no. Okay, well, in that mm -hmm. case, I want to uh, try a spell on Zob. I want to cast Air Bubble. Oh, okay. And, so, uh, uh, and, and yeah, it. tell, can, can I tell me how that looks like as you cast air bubble? I mean, it looks like his, <laughs> a sort of just a space helmet, but it's, it's a spectral sort of glowing orb. So he's got a helmet so over his helmet? A helmet on top of my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can take off normal helmet. Uh, I don't want to die. I notice you use tongue in normal circumstance uh, so this will help use it even out here I'm not gonna, this isn't like a trick I'm gonna take off my helmet and I'm gonna choke and die right it's just oh, no, a I funny joke trick. okay here okay because I will take and off the helmet part fun. he'll leave his like suit on he'll take off the helmet okay Does yeah you're, you're, you're breathing is normal no what death for sob fine wow yeah, I, I was a little worried because I wasn't sure if uh, it would work. So you didn't know? Of fresh air. I did not know. There was no way of knowing unless I try. Okay. Uh, but it worked. <laughs> I guess that's fine, but I, 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 I feel a little weird now that I know you didn't know, but it's okay. Cool. <laughs> it's great. It's great news because it worked. Yeah. It's good news. We are not far from city still. Uh, worst case, I carry you back, but no need. I can turn you into a skeleton if you die. I don't want to turn you into a skeleton when I die. Well, that's not up to you. <laughs> we all turn into I skeletons. Thought it was up to me. I thought you asked <laughs> earlier. No, I asked how attractive your skeleton was. Didn't you call mine mid? Yeah. Can you check again? It does, it's not going to change. I mean, I got I got shot. Might a even couple be of worse. Times. Yeah, you might have broken some again. bones. Well, no, fights have maybe calloused bones made stronger. You're on bone check cooldown, son. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ever played a video game before? I mean, how do you know if your bones are mid or not? <gasps> what do you mean? Like, have you checked your own bones before? It's time. You got a mirror for me? Ah, uh, Zaba like hold up his helmet's reflection in the light. <laughs> this is very, it's like stretchy. It's not like a, how am I supposed to accurately look at myself with this? Oh my this? God, he keeps getting away with it. Are you making excuses? It. Excuses? What do you mean excuses? I'm all stretched oh, out. You seem scared about his bad bones. Scared of Scared of what? Scared of your bones mm. being bad. Okay, why don't you guys judge me then? You sure you want me to judge your bones? <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to check myself on a curved thing that I... Can I even see myself in the reflection? Like, oh. I'm pretty sure I'm just staring at Zob's face. Uh, I mean, yes and no. So let me let me go ahead and actually show you. <laughs> as, 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 as I have expected. A couple of people have been looking at the black, black screen going, Does Brett... Spread no. 
There's uh, nothing on the screen. <laughs> Brett! Brett! Oh, she's oh, darkness she's and the shadows all I see. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you, you it's a, first of all, you kind of got like this, this heavy wind that's blowing through, uh, a, I would say almost like the refraction of the helmet is a sort of a hard, uh, gauge to figure out how good one bones is. I can't use this. I need something better. Okay. Next time I see a mirror, I'm going to pull you over. We're going to figure out what your bones are like. All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. You think your bones are going to be good? I'm perfect. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, tomato. Yeah. Roll me a 1d20. And if you roll a one, something's about to happen. I die. Here we go. Huh? The bubble pops. All right, we're good. Oh, we're good. Huh? Do I feel anything? No, you're 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 good. I was. Uh, we're soft side of meta, bro. It's uh, <laughs> you're. It's. I mean, I'm. There might be a slight panic. I, I, you know, you might be thinking <laughs> to yourself, that the slime that you had consumed is it still oh, in me somewhere? No. Um, you guys have been walking around for uh for quite some time. Nothing has happened. So uh, yeah, you're just. It's. A, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Zob's feeling a little, une, a little uneasy right now. You know what I mean? There's a lot of variables out there right now. We, we don't know exactly what's happening. I'm over it. Uh, if, any, <laughs> if anyone's looking for trouble, uh, they can also roll a 1d20. Otherwise, the journey will continue safely. This is an option. Oh, you know I fucking trouble. love trouble, oh dude. God. I love trouble. Okay. All right, everyone else is being very... Fuck. Very, very, uh... We're so D20 dice pill, just like tomato. <laughs> Man, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> roll, roll for content. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm also not, I'm not gaslighting this. There's a, there is something that happens on a, on a rollable one. So huh. that's why, that's why I, I was talking about... I believe you. Yeah. Zob is gonna blow up at some point in the next couple of sessions, guys. <laughs> oh, right. oh, Sylvia, damn! Oh, so my. I just rolled for fun. I just wanted to see. It. I yeah, mm -hmm. and I saw, I saw, uh, uh, Sherfor just typed one. Uh, oh, so what the, <laughs> what the fuck? That don't, that don't count. That don't count. All right. Shall you continue the journey? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Press um, onward. Press onward. Okay, let's uh, load up the living forest. We'll start with the living forest and then we'll go into uh, the custom theme that we had commissioned for it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Ben. 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 Yes. No. No. Ho, ho, ho. I just need to do one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what's going on. God, we're stupid. <laughs> like, I don't, you don't want to be honest. Don't, like, I've been really quiet. Don't worry about it. Like, I know, the, I know it. like the, the ban part at this point, because you've all done it a million times. You don't know <laughs> Ben, <laughs> bro? And I'm like, I'm like, it's going a little too deep in now. You, 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 don't, you don't get it. This it's just like some stupidy bullshit again. No. Like, I'm I'm getting shit prepared, <laughs> and then I hear sound, and I tend to repeat it. Okay. There you go. I put it in Ganymede for you, bro. Oh, fucking send me this cognito <laughs> hazard. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted no, to know. No, why did you give context? You. Oh. I'm not oh. looking at it, dude. I'm not going up there. <laughs> I thought this was in like an original Surefor joke. I didn't realize this was like. All of something. my jokes are just taken from other people. Oh, well, that's a shame, dude. Dude. What? I'm so fucking sorry. I'm a meme. <laughs> I'm a meme regurgitator. No, no, no. I mean, that's bro. That's that's all of us at this point. Uh, yeah, how the fuck am I gonna have from chat? How am I gonna have original <laughs> memes with Amphantasia and no inner monologue? Yo, uh, you got Amphantasia too? Yeah. Yep, I got it. Yeah. NPC, actual mm -hmm. NPC. 
Bro, I get it. What's that's that what from Tasia? Saying, What's that again? I can't, can't see things anything. in your mind. Oh, that's I the that not. I, you don't see it the sucks. apple. Yeah, got it. Black yeah, 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 but he also doesn't have an inner monologue. Yeah, that's oh, weird. I do. Oh, I'd yeah. lose my mind, dude. I can't imagine having like missing I'd both go of those. Psycho. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I, I have nothing. Well, you guys yes. don't have voices. Nope. No, well, I, I, I do. I got voices. I don't have a voice. Zero voice. Just silence and darkness. Zero voice, no imagination. <laughs> That's wild. Just the sound of a bee buzzing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like constant tinnitus in there. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the... Just, just the snail screaming into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Me meanwhile, the apple in my head is is very detailed. My apple is like falling in slow motion into a pool of water. Shut oh, the fuck I up! Shut the that. fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> my yeah. apple is, on like a, is like on a stool, but there's like a light shining on it, so I actually get to see like the shading of the apple and everything. And my internal Dude, monologue it, is. Has the game fucking oh. paused so he can fucking force me to listen to this shit? Like a drag. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. For my aphantasia individuals, we shall continue. Uh, you enter inside um, this 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 living, breathing entity. You kind of mm. feel the floor pulsate a little uh, with each step that you take. The trees themselves sort of shift around, even though you really can't see like a like a like a uh, like a powerful wind brushing through, almost as if it seems to be moving on its own. As you get in, um, you will see there are a few paths of the forest. Uh, one that's that leads deeper in here where you can see uh, there are individuals within the forest that seem to be doing something. These these sort of elect, uh, electric lights um, kind of are, 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 are installed here that goes in deeper into what seems to be a makeshift camp. And then around this tree over here is another path that will lead you deeper into the forest. So, uh, with that, uh, apologies for music jump scare, but... Bracing. Don't do brace. this to me. Bracing. Also, it depends if it's even gonna load. I'm gonna turn this down, and then I'm gonna turn this down so it doesn't blow out your brains. So here we go. Uh, let's see if both play at the same time. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, hold a second. I need simultaneous. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the music and then play it again so that it's all synced. Okay, now we're good. All right, you guys have entered a living forest. I shall unpause the game. The stage is yours. You're free to do as you wish. So you want to go talk to those guys? I think we talk to God. Could rob them, murder them. Are we murdering them? Well, maybe see just what, see what they're up to. Hmm. Why they're living in a living forest that walks around apparently. Well, it's, uh, it's curious anomaly. There are probably many guards or scientists examining it. Maybe they have leads for us. Hmm? Not murder yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah we still gotta throw that ash in on somebody, too. Just stuff to think about. <laughs> what acid? You know. <laughs> None of us have forgot. Oh. You still have it. What? We, I have we know. no idea what you're talking about. We know you have acid. That what acid? Who's acid? The acid the guy in the mask gave that was in the place that told you to Melt throw it on flesh something. And skin. Literally zero clue. Maybe she has a memory condition. Uh, you'll yeah. you'll Schizophrenia. watch. As all three kind of like look over in your direction as you're approaching uh, from within the fold, as you're approaching there, and this uh, this elvish woman uh, seems to be decorated in some sort of uniform, almost looks military. Um, as she steps forward, and she'll just say, "Oh, greetings, travelers. What brings you to the living forest?" 
Adventure. Ah, I yeah. see. You're, you're, Unknown, you're... undiscovered. You're, you're looking for something new. But uh, it seems that you and I may have something in common then. Uh, uh, greetings and salutations. Uh, my name is Tanya with the IAG. That's the Iodian uh, Archaeologist Guild. Uh, we're here actually studying a little bit of this phenomenon of the. Uh... Oh, by the way, you notice she's not wearing a suit. Like she's. Oh. Yeah, she's she's just talking yeah. to you guys without the suit. And she will actually point to each of you and then state, uh, "You actually, uh, if you want to save some energy within the suits, you don't need that here." The forest itself uh, pr uh, generates plenty of oxygen, making the area breathable. Are you sure it's safe? There's no toxins? Uh, nothing that's harmful to humanoids. That you know of yet. Well, that is true. It it's up to you either way, if you'd like to or not. It's merely a suggestion. Mm, Trax is going to squint. And then take off her helmet because she sees that this woman is seems to be unaffected. Uh, huh? yeah, <laughs> Chax dies. No, uh, you <laughs> <laughs> got her. Uh, Chax, you take off your helmet, um, and immediately the fresh air from the forest comes in. Uh, but it's not like that clean air that you normally get when you're like outside, you know, out of a city, out of the forest, breathing it in. It's still, it has a certain metallic taste into the into the air a little bit. It's it's not. It's not pleasing to the taste, but you are able to breathe in it uh, clearly. Mm, yeah, she flicks out her tongue and she squints a little bit. Mm, it's fine. Fine enough for breathing, at least. I apologize right. for the uh, the aroma that may generate here. Uh, the living forest seems to have countless amounts of strange and unusual creatures that habitat within. Are you you must be uh tired, hungry, thirsty? Do you need any rations at all before you go deeper? I, I must warn you though, uh, a heavy mist seems to have be seems to be blocking our way currently. If you do decide to go in deeper. I mean if we're taking off our suits, where are we putting it? Oh, you could just take off the helmet and turn off the suit. You don't have to leave the suit here. Or if you... Oh, you have a, like a fancy bag. Mm -hmm. It saves energy. You're gonna fit all of that? Yes. Oh, okay. Bag I've never had one of these things before. Yes, the bag you holding. You a body in that one time. Works with there. And that is kind of <laughs> true, but these are like five bodies. It's like the suit out. is the size of us. Can I... Yes. Put my suit in the bag of holding? Yes, you can. We're all holding our suits in there. All right, come on, bring it in. Yeah, bring it. You're coming yes, over. Yes. Take out my bag. And we shove think, all the suits in. You think Ben could fit in there? Yes. Are there any slime residue left over in that bag? We could just like throw him out at someone like a jump scare. Are there slime in the bag still? Uh, yeah, no, I think still, he ate it all. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you're still lingering, festering slime, yeah. kind of floating around within the bag. You know, let's take a thought. That? Maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah maybe you get rid of that. Absolutely. <laughs> so, you, if, do you want to dump the slime out? Yeah, I'm just gonna casually, uh, you know, litter. Hey, have you seen slime like this before? Hmm. Like she'll, this, this. She'll look over past Chax and says, "Uh." I haven't, although we do have a scientist that is with us that's been uh, observing the phenomenon and, and helping us study the area. Uh, yeah, can you bring might, him over here? Uh, perhaps he might know something about it. Oh, yes, uh, actually, if uh, if you're all right with it, uh, you can uh, follow me to our camp. Uh, we can actually put the slime on the ground. Hmm. All right, yeah, let me see if he's available then. Uh, I, 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 shall, I, I shall be right back. I uh, could think we she... don't have to do the walking. Yeah, so oh. she, you'll you'll watch as uh, she. One second. Boop. Boop. Making sure the camera's there, and then there we go. Uh, so yeah, you'll kind of just w watch as she uh, walks deeper into the camp, 
Um, she seems to be saying something. You can kind of hear a hushed voice over. Not a hush, but I mean, like, it's far enough where as she's saying it, she say it sounds like, you know, oh, we do have guests. So where's the, where's the doctor? But, um, there's a phenomenon here that some people are curious about. Yes, okay. Yeah, there you go. And she goes, you'll hear uh, Dr. Fang. Uh, there is someone here that uh, had a question for you. Uh, and then, so this is off screen that you guys are seeing this. Uh, yeah. You'll watch as this uh, man with glasses and this giant jacket on uh, follows Tanya over, walking over to you guys. Let me go ahead and... Uh, this, uh, hello, I didn't mean to jump, jump you like that. Uh, greetings, and uh, this is, uh, uh, Dr. Alexi Fang. Mm. Nice to meet you. You see this thing before? Mm. It's pleased to, I'm pleased to meet you. Mm. Let me go ahead and see what this is. You'll kind of, of like slime approach. and weird things, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Fang has this kind of like combed back spiked black hair uh with an elvish heritage and he also has uh facial hair uh, with a beard and, and a little bit of, of that and he's wearing this overcoat and you'll notice he has a rifle uh strapped to his back and he goes hmm. well let me go ahead and take a look at this and he stu he looks at it and he studies it and he kind of stares at it for a little bit like he's just like hmm you could taste it if you want. Oh, no, that's okay. I, I tried some. It's not great. What symptoms have you had? As he kind of, like, looks over at uh, Zob. My tummy hurt for a little. Oh, probably. Hmm. He leans down. It looked like he was going to puke. No, nah, I didn't. No, but it looked <laughs> like it. He leans down, and he kind of looks over at this, uh, this slime, and he squints a little bit. And he goes, uh, I'm familiar with some oozes. Uh, let me go ahead and, and take a look. And he will, he kind of takes a little, uh, a little, he cuts a little sample and places it within a vial. And he kind of like looks up, looks around, shakes it around a little bit. And uh, he goes into his coat, taking out some sort of chemical, and dipping a little bit. And as he does, you kind of watch the ooze kind of like flare up a little bit. And, um... Uh, uh, Dr. Fang just kind of nods a little bit and he says, mm, this seems to be the byproduct of something, but it's not, it's not actually a living creature, it seems. Mm. Fascinating, though. Where did you find this? A cave. It grows teeth. Grows teeth, huh? Very fascinating. Uh, it reminds me of something that I've, I've witnessed deeper inside the forest. Uh, there seems to be these... Yeah, that adds up. There seems to be these crystalline structures that seems to be that scrambled across these woods. Uh, I've been doing a, a little bit of analysis to, with it. I'm uncertain of its origin or power, but this... It kind of... He kind of, like, pokes over at the vial. As I mentioned, seems to be a byproduct of it, of some unknown power it seems something is happening to the uh, the geology of of Ganymede this is something new that's been sprouting all over the place so what mm. is and and then so he'll and then he'll just hand the vial over to you and say I'm sorry that it's not an exciting answer I definitely wouldn't consume it though uh oh, too late while this is going on, I'm I'm still cleaning out the bag and just it, putting it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, just jump in there. And he doesn't seem to mind. He's watching as you're just dumping this bag over. Is there oh, anything else sorry. in there oh, that's sorry. useless? Um, I mean, what, what what have you guys been holding in the bag so far? See bodies, bodies, corpses. Yeah, corpses. Yeah. <laughs> trash. Just, it's just a big trash bin. <laughs> so as you're <laughs> emptying out the bag, you're just gonna kind of watch as. as these I don't think we actually put a corpse in there yet, but we talked about it. Uh, oh yeah, did you? Did you guys? Corpses in. Not yet. 
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that you guys discussed it, but I don't think you it actually were did it. So my mind close. Too. I keep thinking we did. Yeah, I, 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 I also keep thinking. We that. just really wanted to. We it's just gonna happen. A trigger. It, oh yeah, no, that is a That's, garbage bin. It's an inevitability. Mm. That's gonna That's, be my like bone bag. So. Anything that's in the bag right now just kind of dumps onto the floor along with the slime. That is useless garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I think some of it was like stuff that the party was storing in as well. Oh. <laughs> I don't okay, think that's trash. I'm only throwing out the, you know, like slime and, you know, useless stuff. Yeah, 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 stuff. yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. just discarded all that stuff. I understand yeah. what you're doing. Just cleaning out the inventory. All right, I'm done. <laughs> um, He will look over and say that. I'm assuming you all are looking to go deeper into the forest to learn more about it. Am I correct? Yeah, we're Absolutely. just exploring, looking for some things. Hmm. Anything in particular that you're looking for? Knowledge? Does there happen to be wealth? any, like, metal or other things? Mechs? M Mechs? Automatons? No, I haven't seen any automatons. <laughs> the oh, that's good. The creatures that are born from this forest are definitely born. strange and unique. No, born, as in, yes, created from this forest. Are definitely strange and unusual, unique to the uh, the ecology that's here. Do they have skeletons? I have to actually analyze some of it, but I'm pretty sure if you plan on going in, you're inevitably going to have to fight them. I guess I'll just have to find out. What They're... of these crystalline structures uh, well they are jutting out a little bit a couple of feet from the ground they seem to be purplish in hue and they let out a strange unknown power it gives me great unease mm, Trax is gonna look and gesture around to the lights and shit a uh, moving forest, light paths. I'm assuming this place easy to get lost in? Um, yes. Um, there are a lot of, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of hostile creatures here, but even the flora themselves seem to be defending the forest. So one can get lost, one can get injured. And uh, yes, the environment seems to rapidly change. Um, as the forest continues on. Uh, we do believe we have found a stable place here. In fact, hmm. I, if you were planning on going in, that would, uh, that would give me much, much ease. If you wouldn't mind company. How the oh. hell do we find our way back, then? I, I can go ahead and, and show the way, if you would like me to guide you to and fro. You would like to be guided. Hmm. Oh, I wouldn't. He, he, and you watch as he kind of pulls out this, like, beautiful shard rifle that he's got strapped to his back. And he says, uh, if you're afraid I am unable to pull my weight, uh, please don't let the title fool you. I'm very well capable if we get into a scrap. Okay. I don't care. Uh, yeah, We're getting bit. paid for it ultimately up to you. <laughs> and then he looks over and he says, uh, paid? Yeah, like an escort thing, or... Hmm, I, I, I suppose that could... that could work for me. Hmm. How much are your services normally? Oh, you know, you like... Know depends on the distance traveled, and how much of the arm... Like, if you want to just be, like... A little guy just waiting around while we do all the fighting. That could be an upcharge kind of thing. Yeah, if yeah, you want our... to try really hard, maybe we can upcharge for that. Too. Yeah, our rates are usually like a minimum. Uh, is 50, 50, 100, 200? <laughs> I'm whispering. Yeah, you're whispering. I mean, you know, like a, like a, I guess standard rate, like, like 200. 200? I'd okay. say. Uh, yeah, our rates are standard 200, but we, we could give discounts. Oh, okay. Uh, what kind of discount? What kind of discount? You didn't think this far ahead, did you? I did not think this far. Why did you even offer a discount? I don't know. Oh, you say no discount. You know, You're gonna have no to discount. Sorry, that the promotion period <laughs> ended. <laughs> just, 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 just now, just this moment. Yeah, she got her times mixed up. It was a holiday special. Oh, that is a uh, shame, I suppose. 
Of 200 credits, you said? Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's more than fair for for a party of this caliber. Mm. All right, guys? Yeah. He'll scratch at we his chin. We have Wiley. He'll scratch at his chin a little bit and says, Well, uh, since you were considering a sort of variable rate, what if I guided you? I would still pay you for your protection, of course, but I could take you as far as I've explored. And maybe we do a hundred credits for that? And then if yeah, I do sure. decide to continue on from there, I will pay you an additional hundred credits, yes? Yeah, yeah oh, we could keep it tentative. Yeah, okay. Um, Lower than what we usually settle for, but you seem like a very uh, competent individual. We will accept your offer. Oh, well, that is especially kind of you. Uh, oh, I've uh, already introduced myself. I am Dr. Alexi Fang. Uh, you can call me Alexi or Dr. Fang or simply Fang if you, if you so wish. Fang? Uh, like the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, so he points at his canine. <laughs> like, yes, if, if if you'd like. Oh, very sharp canine to school. Mm. Nice. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and what of you? And and what of you? Uh, what are your names? Well, I'm yeah, Sylvia. Poor okay, he points at Sylvia. Says Sylvia. Uh, points at Fred. Oh, I'm Fred, and this is Ben. You got an axe around here by chance? I need Fred some wood. And Ben. Uh, I'm afraid. Fred and I, Ben. I'm afraid I don't have anything so so violent. Um, everything violent. That we, everything that we have are, uh, you know, like scalpels and stuff to extract uh, material. I need some wood. Well, just uh, pick up wood off floor. Off I don't ground. need twigs. I need big. Yes. Well, uh, it's that like punching a tree. Uh, uh, yeah. About that, about that. Uh, ben, punch that tree with your giant club. Uh, okay, so uh, he's, as he's saying this, you watch him lift, uh, you watch Ben lift the club and takes a giant swing over at the tree. Um, as it does, it kind of buckles a little bit, almost as if you were attacking a limb of a creature. Um, oh. And as it does, you hear the sound of a little bit of a snapping, sinew snapping from within. And the bruise mark that it leaves. Sorry, clearing my throat. <laughs> uh, the bruise mark that it oh, leaves uh, kind of looks like a, it, it does look like a bruise and it bleeds a little bit. Oh um, God. This doesn't look like a normal tree. Yes, that's what I was about to say there. This isn't wood. The living force itself is a, well, it's a creature. And you are a now creature. You say you are swinging over at its various appendages. I want to find out if it has bones inside of it. God. Hmm. I... A tree with bones? I've oh, never heard of that. that. Well, how does it stay upright? Well, Is it just a flesh amalgamation. And I've done some it seems that uh trees in the specific areas and i use the term loosely um the bone structure he says that in air quotes um seems to be of a of a different material uh this over here still kind of uses the same sinew that you would see in 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 trees from before but other areas deeper within the trees are made of of of, of a different Biomaterial. Perhaps you would find a tree with bones deeper inside. Oh, imagine a bone tree just walking around. Mm, yes, I, thrilling. I could imagine it, although it would probably cause uh, quite a bit of danger. But no, they're not dangerous if they're with me. I suppose that's true. Um, one moment. Uh, Tanya, uh, yes, I believe I will be uh, accompanying these five adventurers over here deeper within the woods. Uh, perhaps even find the source of the mist to clear that out so that we can continue our investigation of the forest. All right, then. Well, uh, and be careful, Dr. Fang. And we shall wait for your return. And you'll watch as Tanya kind of, like, walks a little further in and... Dr. Fang will walk over at you, uh, over at you all, looking, and will state, Well, uh, 
if should I guide or will you would you like to lead on? Oh, well, we got to finish introductions first. Oh yes, that's right. I got so excited. Uh, Fred, Ben, and yes. Ben, and what uh, what of you? Points over at Zab. I'm Zab. Zab. Yeah, Zab. He steps forward, kind of looks over at you. Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. Have we met before? And he offers a hand. Ah. Uh, oh. I don't think so. Oh. I just have this strange feeling. Oh. Um. And Weird. uh. And you. Uh. What is What is your name? Jax. Tactical genius of group. Uh. Yes. Mm. Pleasure to meet you as well. And uh, sticks out her slimy, goopy hand. Uh, he'll he'll shake it. Mm. And uh, and you, looks over at Nikolai. Uh, Nikolai. Oh, pleasure to to meet you. To to meet all of you. You all seem plenty capable of what's within. Yes. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, that's all I need to hear. Uh, who do I, and he holds up the 100 credit ship, who do I pay this to? Oh, oh I'll hold on just, to it. You can Us. spread it out. Yes. Be. <laughs> 100 <laughs> credits is given to Sylvia. Don't worry, neither. <laughs> I'll hold on to this for us. Mm. I, You're welcome. I, I understand. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, were you talking to me or your compatriots? Um, anyone who can hear. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome then. Uh, you're welcome. I will uh, stay more in the back. It's best for my gun. Well, uh, go All ahead right. and, and lead on. Okay, uh, are you going to tell us which way to go? Uh, uh, yes, uh, head on over there to the south. Um, so as you guys are approaching, uh, you will automatically begin to see, oops, you will see the mist that is uh, creeping in over at this mm -hmm. area, this very heavy mist, almost like a fog. <coughs> mm. Dr. Feng, is fog normal in these woods? From the little study that I've done of the living forest, uh, there is no normal. Mm. Everything seems to change rather rapidly here. All right. Yeah, that looks so pretty. So cryptic. That looks uh, oh, here. Oh, yeah, because I'm rolling initiative. Huh? Huh? Man, Nikolai looks huh? so back there today. Us He's tiptoeing. This whole forest is alive. <laughs> <laughs> what, is he going to be scared every footstep today? Oh, he, can't, he can't step on any branches or roots. You hear me? Dude, I just fucking slammed it. They didn't get mad. We're fine. I love fighting. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Zob, as you kind of enter into this heavy fog, um, you're going to feel, or you're going to see, rather, a crackle of lightning shot over in your direction. Something's wrong. What? Something, I, I see something over here. What is it? I don't know. It looks like lightning. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do about it? And that's when you you just immediately get zapped right there. All right, so uh ah, there it is. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw, please, Zob, as he's this crackle of light to go through. Uh, yeah, you managed to dodge out of the way in time. Uh, there is definitely something hidden within this mist. Did I see, like, the general direction the lightning came from that shot at me? Uh, yes. Uh, I, uh, you would have seen it right over here in this general direction. I'm gonna go see what just shot at me. Are you sure you're not just seeing things? All so right. Start walking this way. Uh, as you start walking, uh, you will see 
this sort of bloom that's like creating that mist is sort of spraying out of right now. Um, you can easily tell that the source of this mist is from this bloom. You also take note of another bloom, although still heavily obscured. You'll kind of see this uh, flower crackle with lightning. Let me go and roll some initiative. Well, it seems like the most immediately helpful thing for this group as a whole is me getting rid of this missed one. So I'm gonna give this one a couple of hearty smacks. Okay. Uh, first one right now. Uh, All right. to hit the uh, miss. That will uh, miss, actually. The 12 is what? not enough. As you oh. kind of go, go ahead and swing through, um, your aim at one spot, the mist is still obscuring over your eyes. And uses that's my extra attack is for 26. All right, that does hit. Um, you'll mm. begin to watch as the bloom rapidly wilts away from the impact, but still standing strong. Very cool. I'm going to use my bonus action to do my extra smack. Okay. Uh, again. Not to- uh, oh! That's a, that is a crit. Um, and as you crush the plant, You'll watch as some of the mist kind of uh, begins clearing away a little bit. Uh, you can see this. You can see this uh, bloom, by the way, a little more clearer. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to complete my movement by getting up to the bloom. Okay. Uh, Fred. Hey, Ben. Go see what's, uh, you know, going on over there. You can use your bonus action to command, Ben. Yeah. All right. Uh, any spell you'd like to cast? Yeah. What would you like to cast? That on that. Okay. But I don't think it work. Uh, yeah. I actually need you to uh, roll again. Your this roll is gonna be at disadvantage because this is considered heavily obscured. All right. The twelve will miss as you kind of watch the fire make impact against one of these like the these tree stumps and it, <coughs> sorry and it just kind of like fades into it, into it like just washing it away Not hopefully kidding. i don't burn the whole place down uh you can move uh ben right yeah all right go ahead and give him a give him a move i'm Is really he able to dash on skeleton uh you can uh if you command him to dash as a bonus action Yes. Okay. <clears throat> then yes, he can dash, but he won't be able to take any other action. Yes, sir. Oh, don't worry, Ben's gonna help you out or get Please hit. Don't get one shot. Please don't uh, get one I really shot. hope this is the first skeleton that does something. Uh, as w hey, pro what the hell is that supposed way. to mean? I mean that in a good way. <laughs> You'll watch as lightning crackles over here, uh, shooting over no, towards Ben. ben. <laughs> no, Ben. No, ben. <laughs> Uh, ben needs to make a dexterity saving throw or take 14 lightning damage. Oh, oh he's good. My God. He's a big Perfectly boy. Perfectly average. <laughs> yeah, he just he just immediately does a squat and just swings right there. Nicely done. Good job, Ben. Sylvia. I, I can see the flower thing, right? Yes, you can, but it's considered obscure to range attacks right now. Meaning, if any range attack you do will be made at disadvantage. And, uh, I probably can't like. They won't. Can you vicious mo viciously mock a flower? Probably Does not. Does a flower have a brain? Do flowers Does it have, have feelings? feelings? Does flower have feeling yes. and brain? Yeah. Uh. That's a really hard question. Do I try? And if I fail, I'm gonna look like so stupid. But then you'll know. That's so true. I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery on the flower. Let's see it. <clears throat> That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> the psychic energy will begin to cause the flower to wilt a little bit. Yeah, uh, go ahead. D4 to that champ. Yeah, go and roll another one D4, please, with your bracers. Oh, it's sad. Six points of psychic damage. Wait. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. Wait, I don't roll. Uh, huh? 
I rolled a 1d4? Yes, you did. You it's don't so... get the spell's damage increase, or is it just... So, you just yeah, added. So, yeah, so your Vicious Mockery, you roll, already rolled your 2d4. Oh, your roll I was a 3 and a 1, which is a 4, and then you added additional d4 from the Bracers, so that technically uh, was your 3d4. Got it, got it. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I'm done. Okay. Uh, at the end of your round, uh, from here, you'll watch as lightning zaps over. Mm. Okay. Uh, actually, I guess I could just use this. Here we go. Woohoo! Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw as a crackle of lightning, uh, shoots over in your direction. Who, me? Uh, no, uh, it's, uh, Sylvia. Oh, You can also select your token and press the dexterity save versus DC 14. That's a button in the chat. Uh, the lightning will crackle forth, uh, strike at you, uh, dead, dead in your center, and you'll take 15 what? points, 15 points of damage. <laughs> Jax. Hi. Hello. Uh, you said lightning came from over here. That is the correct. implication being that there might be another flower over there. Chax is gonna make a perception check, I guess. Okay. Okay. Go, go on, go on with your big lizard eyes. Yeah, you definitely see several things moving around in the mist, and because There's of that perception things. check. Things. Mm -hmm. Uh, you will see this. Oh, some things. Some things, huh? Oh, the, 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 things. The, the two blues. Okay. Cool. Chax is gonna... Hold on. I need to look at the range on something. Sure thing. Oh. Oh, I was looking at something that I thought was an AoE, but it isn't an AoE. Okay, well, either way, she's gonna take aim at the flower in the front and she's going to try to firebolt it. All right, uh, please make this roll at disadvantage. Okay. That's a, is that alter control? Uh, control. Okay. Uh, who are you aiming oh! at? Jesus. That's good. <laughs> uh, which, which a bloom are you aiming at? It was the one in the front. Excellent. Uh, this blah, one blah. crackling with electricity. Uh, immediately wilts away from the fire as it just dot. It just kind of wilts and, and, and just is sucked up into the ground. Nice. All right. Uh, what do you see? He looks over at you as you're shooting fire bolts into the mist. Oh, it's like plants. Electricity. Oh, I see. I see. Do uh, Zob, what what do you see over there? That's a plant. That uh, uh, sh I think it uh, shoots light. It shoot a lot. It shoot a lot of lightning at me. Okay. Can you uh, can you go ahead and point point it out? And as he's doing that, he's he's got the rifle right up to his eye and the scope right there, and he's aiming right now, and he's looking forward. Uh, can you can you direct That's right my there. shot, please? All right. That's right there. All right. So this will be done as a normal attack. Um, so, as he goes for the shot, you'll hear the go off, and as it goes off, he vanishes within the mist, and then reappears over here as part of his attack. So the gun fires over here. Um, he will also place a deadly focus on it, and then take a shot with the shard rifle. <laughs> Uh, that will hit, uh, and you'll just kind of watch as it just immediately just just shatters away. Plus uh, thirteen, huh? Plus thirteen on that shot, huh? What's this fucking? Good? And a plus two shard rifle. Huh. And then he looks hmm. forward, and he he'll shout over to you. Can you, uh, Jax? Can you point out where you see the uh, the flower, the bloom? Yeah, she points right at it wordlessly. All right, let's see what I can do. 
uh, as he uh, takes another shot, Multi-attack. he will attack. He'll vanish, appear over here. Uh, this one will be at a disadvantage, unfortunately, but it would still hit 14 points of damage. And you'll kind of watch as it, um, the, this, this flower is wilting away, but still staying strong. If I had a nickel for every single time some crazy NPC came along with a plus 40 <laughs> to insight. He's kind of scary. <laughs> Good job, man. Um, you'll kind of watch as the, the it continues to mister. Oh, that's right. I I forgot. Zob, when you punched that flower, yeah. uh, it dealt five points of damage to you from the nettles that are, are attached oh. to it. Ow. Oh, you forgot that. You forgot I, the horrible pain Zob would have sustained from that. Well, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't want to remember it. Zob uh, notices when he points his hand that he's got horrible nettles <laughs> impaled in his hand. Ow! 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 <laughs> uh, all right, Nikolai. Uh, Nikolai's gonna look up here to this person and, and say, uh, "Excuse me, is lightning common occurrence in forest down there?" Nothing's a no- a common occurrence in here, unfortunately. Mm, uh, the forest yeah. changes by the season, uh, by the day, by the minute. Understood. Uh, he's going to carefully watch his feet. Uh, come down here. It's okay. So, that means this place doesn't actually exist. There's no laws of morality for it yet. <laughs> huh? What has happened down here? We're under uh, attack. Are these flowers only seeable because of the perception check by those people? Uh, yeah, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you, uh, you guys as a party, are actively pointing out um, these things, Swill, so that you can that you can see the token. If you're being a little stinker, let uh, me know. <laughs> uh, now I am conflicted. Uh, I mean, is plant living? I, if this forest trees believe. Depends on your definition of living. Do you eat salads? If I mean, I don't avoid blades of grasses. I st- I'm gonna need a minute here. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fuck, he's having I a mean, crisis. Hey, if you time to think about it. I got a bunch of like knives in my hands or something. <laughs> I mean, do you blame a rose for the thorns when you grab? Yeah. That is your huh? own fault, is it not? Well, no. that's also why we pruned the thro- the, the thorns. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'll just use... Did my healer fucking just lecture me with a poem? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I needed a couple look... seconds to recover from Dr. that. Dr. Fake's a look at Sylvia and is like... Is... Does he not hurt roses? He's a good one. He's going through it. He can be persuaded. <laughs> to do evil. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to throw a healing word at Sylvie for now, though, saying that uh, she took a hit. Oh, yay! So... Where Let's see are it. you? Healing word. For some reason, it's not on my spell. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. Beep boop. Beep boop. You heal for six health. You re- regain six hit points. All right, uh, uh, everyone go. I will figure this out. <laughs> Good what? luck. What is there to figure out? <laughs> he is <laughs> introspecting. Give him Praying for you, man. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zob. Zob sees this thing, but that thing just makes mist. Um, I think Zob, seeing them all fighting over there, uh, I'm against a tree, so I have 40 feet of movement right now. I'm going to move over here to see if I detect anything else. Just start Um, punching trees, bro. No, you don't. Cue Minecraft sound. (laughs) I guess that's it. How uh, fucked up would that be if one session you guys are in a forest and I just start playing Minecraft soundtrack? <laughs> Please. Yeah, then I start punching the tree. Uh, f- 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 ooh, actually, 
from here, lightning is going to shoot over at you, Zob. Oh, he's so mad. I'm so mad right now, dude. I walked over here. I was like, I'm looking around. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, deck save, please. You or see that from here. You're good. No damage take. You could have if you just didn't shoot at me. <laughs> uh, if bro. flowers were alive, I mean, which they're not. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Technically, everything is alive. Uh, Fred. I'm going to firebolt the boy in front of me. Is that disadvantage still? Correct. Go ahead and give me another roll. Ooh, very good. So it works. And then, yeah, that fire just wilts away. It kind of gives a... And then it just sinks into the ground. Scream! I think I heard it scream. <laughs> okay, this is the cement thing. Um... <laughs> Cover cool your ears, Nikolai. Uh, as, the, <laughs> as the mist begins to clear, um, the flowers are not as heavily obscured anymore. So you will see this, and then you will also see this. Ben's gonna move on over, and he's gonna club the electric one. All right, let's see it. Here we fucking go. Gotta get my club out. Uh, that it'll it'll uh, be in your features. I've already yeah 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 adjusted it. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, thirteen points of damage dealt to the electric one. That rolled Bonk. ten plus three damage, as in uh, didn't actually roll a die. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah minions flat. don't roll dice. Oh, it's, that's uh, really? Flat. Yeah, that's flat huge. Damage. Yeah, minions do flat damage. Wait, Ben kind of cooked. That's we got reliable crazy. damage here. So it's always 13. All right, next up is Sylvia. I cast Vicious Mockery. At which plant? The dying one, the left one. Understood. Uh, with your psychic energies, it wilts away. Potter. Cool. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna freaking blast it. Or at least I'm gonna try to. Assuming right. it's within range. Yeah, it's within range. Yeah, let's see it. This will be mm. a normal roll. Normal roll for fireball. Okay. Oops. Uh-oh. That misses. Uh-oh. She looks like really embarrassed for a second. Takes aim with some deadly focus. Go on, Doc. And then, yeah, that immediately just destroys uh, those flowers, ending the encounter. Hmm. We found this problem. Does. Mm. Yes. Do the flowers have anything? Like, can I go. That's true. <laughs> Loot, loot, loot. Uh, loot? You can, do they have wallets? Loot? Do they have wallets? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. As you're like looking around this area, seeing if you can find anything of value. Because everything just kind of sucked into the ground. Yeah, go ahead and make a. Well, this is specifically for Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia one, uh, one. does a little dance uh, and then finds nothing <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is my fuck you dance. <laughs> Can I have a check to see if these things are organic in any way, similar to a living being? Uh, yeah, nature or medicine check, please. Okay. I need this. Do you want to know? <laughs> you really want to know? Yeah. I can't do this to myself. Uh, God, where are my checks? Oh, there they are. Oh, uh, you said nature or medicine? Yeah. Uh, Dr. It's definitely Dr. not nature. Dr. Fang walks up to you. Uh, 16. Do you need aid, Nikolai? I, uh... I have made vow with self to never harm living uh, creature. Oh. Uh, trees here bleed like a living being do. Hmm, so you're curious if this is a living creature? Uh, that is right, yes. Uh, I don't wish to be rude, but it is called a living forest, yes? I mean, he has a point. The plants in themselves are living, but not in the way we are. Yes. Uh, not. It is. That... It will be an impossibility to avoid. So every living. He kind of he kind of presses his fingers together while you say this. 
who in the end is the arbiter of, of, of life? Who, who judges what is considered a living creature? You? Me? Where do we get that superiority from? If you're asking from a scientific standpoint, yes, uh, even a living forest or a forest that would normally reside on Io, uh, those are all living entities. But it is the value that you place within that life, yes? So, really, the question is, do you value the life of this forest? Well, now I have more to think about. Yes, you, uh, you take a nice long think. <laughs> but I would advise you, Nikolai, be cautious, be careful. Because while you're thinking philosophically about this forest, this forest will be actively trying to kill you. Shall we carry on? There is an interesting lake over here that I spotted. He might be fine. He's dying. I want to see lake. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, right over this way. Yay. All right, let me go ahead and... Clear. What's so exciting about a lake? The next area. Um... Well, it's a... what what's not exciting about living for it? Just water. Like, oh, I don't, I don't. Is the water living? I don't. Uh, that's uh, that's the thing about this lake, and you're already beginning to see, like, as you're approaching, this sort of like giant blue glow. And he's like, water I, living. I, I wouldn't consider it, uh, uh, like water based. Uh, it definitely is fluid in nature, but. It's very vicious, or viscous, or however you say that. All right, Zob, eat smart. it. Yeah, I swim in it. Can I eat no, it? Eat <laughs> it. What do you want me to do with it? Eat it. Oh dear, I. I thought you said you would eat anything. Uh, Doctor um... Fang looks over at Zob and says, "Why do you consume such <laughs> unknown things?" You're asking, you're a scientist, isn't this the perfect opportunity for you to just see what happens? I can still be inquisitive. I, I will, of course, report anything that you do, but I ask merely as a curiosity. 50 credits, he'll do it. Well, I mean, like, yeah, think about it like this. What's the point of having a really strong body if, like, if something gets on the inside, they just rip you up? Oh. True. Work out your <laughs> organs. <laughs> My insides are all callous <laughs> and miserable. Oh, oh dear. I, um, yeah, this isn't exactly like building up a spice tolerance. Uh, yes, you may have a strong body on the outside, but that body's purpose is to protect what's within. Yes? Um, um before Sob eats liquid, uh, have you done study on it? Um, Yes, I did a study of yesterday's sample. Uh, then it was more of a green glow. Now it seems to have a heavy blue to it. Hmm. So this I'll blue, have to study. Blue sounds healthier than green. Mm, green. <laughs> so stepping up towards the water. Mm, yeah, so that's Take a bite. He's grabbing the vial. Uh, what is Zob doing? Uh, Zob's uh, got his hand out for the 50 credits he's about to get right <laughs> after he took his steps like this. <laughs> No, I was saying from him, the researcher. Oh, I'm not going to do it for free today. Uh, well, yeah. That was my point. Bright colored things in nature are usually dangerous. Just saying. Apples are red. Oh, very good, Jax. Well, they've been bred to be red. How do you breed an apple? The stories that... I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Yeah. I'll show you someday. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 That didn't. That. No, I can't. <laughs> not can't. Hit. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> well, I guess you have points. Maybe Pineapples are pretty in. bright too. Only on insides, they aren't bright on the outside, they're mundane. But what maybe some fruits are bright colors in order to attract consumers. 
Well, if you think about it, fright fireflies are only bright to attract mates. Brilliant. Maybe this is an attraction for Zob to fuel his hunger. Uh, Chax, if you don't mm. mind me asking, where mm -hmm. did you get such a knowledge set? Are you, uh, are you an academic? Uh, I've read one or two book. Yes. Oh, what was your area of study? Oh no. I don't study. No, no, no. <laughs> I've read two book. I've, <laughs> I, I read occasional book. I know how to read. Uh, oh, okay. I... I No, no, not... I do not go to university. Oh, I, Just... I, I, I apologize. I wasn't meaning to imply that you didn't know how to read. No, I don't need knowledge. I am tactical, magical genius. Yeah, you're super smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a, a natural intelligence, right. I see. Right. Yes. Oh, very good. Thank you for indulging with me. Um, either way, Zob maybe should not eat liquid. Oh, yeah. it's so boring. Yes, I was about to say that it had the same property almost as if of, of, of blood. So this... What? Yes. Uh, same iron properties i mean uh, there's a couple of the, the 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 minerals within was slightly different but it, it had the same coating this may actually be the blood of the forest oh even more reason to drink it what if he gets uh, superpowers drinking it i sob i wouldn't advise you to no i'm not no check check not to i'm not gonna drink it Aww. Am I able to use my like sage background to try and like learn shit about it? Uh, yeah. You know what? I will. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and make a uh, intelligence check, I will allow yes. that. <laughs> okay. So with your sage background, as you kind of look over at this, uh, <clears throat> I mean there are uh, plenty of mythical creatures, of giants of sorts. Um, that would bleed, maybe not something of this color. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's blood spilt either. So this kind of looks like it's pools of blood that's just kind of like, like pulling out of the ground here from the, from the living forest itself. Yeah, I don't think it's anything bad. Um, it would definitely be something gnarly to someone's stomach, uh, but it wouldn't be deadly. It's not deadly. But if it's just blood, then it shouldn't matter either way. Is it inside of the plants? Well, it's kind of just coming out of the ground. As you guys are discussing, I would like everyone's passive perception score, please. Oh. That's just 10 plus your modifier, right? Correct. Four Minus uh, 14. Which right. modifier? Uh, wisdom. Uh, if you or uh, your perception down. modifier, if you have proficiency, which you do not, Fred. No, uh, so mine's, a, mine's eleven, I guess. Is twelve? Eleven, twelve, Nikolai. Fourteen. Zob. Fourteen. And you said, and you are also fourteen checks. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> All What's right. his, though, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> What's his? Uh, I'm rolling, I'm Be rolling, honest. I'm rolling the D6. He took us here on purpose to get us eaten. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, ooh. So, uh, you are able, Zob, with quick reflexes, uh, you are quickly able to see something phase out of existence and attempt to bite you and you manage huh? to sidestep out of the way without it getting oh. the surprise on you uh you will kind of see this uh this this purplish python sort of phase into oh, existence shit. like literally just just blink right into the existence uh so do, 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 do. stop wait look <laughs> at that don't do that Nikolai's I art, mean, the mountain just match with Zob, and then the, the it's like the same background as Zob. 
Yeah. Oh. We all have the oh. same background. We've always all had the same background. Oh, I, I, I know what I know what he's saying. It, it looks yeah. like it's a continuation of the background. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I, my, We're my best friends. My uh, knee jerk reaction. Bro, is we also matched to say this. That. We actually coordinated <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and then the last thing I need, uh, as this thing blinks out. Uh, you will hear something skitter from the trees and begin to climb down as what appears to be uh, a spider, a, 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 oh. a, a giant spider, except uh. the... Uh, what the fuck? That thing got a brain. The back of it, I don't know what that part of it is called. Maybe Junie does. Uh, the appendix? Yeah, the back of it uh, looks the like abdomen. a... The abdomen. The abdomen looks like a pulsating brain. Ugh. Look at its beady Ooh. fucking eyes. You can see the whites of some of them. Ugh. What the fuck? This is definitely the strangest dungeon I've done. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about all this. This is definitely the more unique. Fucking brain spiders? Mm -hmm. The mind spider. Oh, it's probably so smart. Maybe. I want to talk, <laughs> I want to, talk to it. Oh. oh, okay. All right. I thought you were like, oh my God, I'm going to blow that brain out. This will be great. What do you think about me? What? <laughs> Am I cute? No. <laughs> you think I'm cute? Uh, all, right. all right. So uh, Alexi's just gonna kind of like look around a little bit, pointing his gun, and he says, "If you don't mind, I would like to observe this. Let me know if you need assistance." Uh, he'll take the dodge action. What's up? Okay, uh, and then Zob is going to attempt to stomp this thing into the fucking ground uh, <laughs> as hard as he can for trying to bite him. Okay. Uh, so here we go. First attack. All That's right. A 13. That misses. Okay, attacks a 27. That does hit for 13 points of damage. Uh, this thing uh, definitely seems more fortified than a uh, flower. And you punch Ooh. and deal Ooh. 13 points uh, of damage. He's going to be taking some constitution saving throws in a second. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, I'm going to have him, uh, take a knockout punch. So constitution saving throw, DC 15, please. All right. Uh, go ahead and do the knockout punch and the button should pop out. Excellent. Uh, he fails. Uh, so what are you doing? Are you... I'm going to stun him. Uh, he's stunned. Uh, yeah, the, the, the mouth kind of, cl uh, closes a little bit and he is currently stunned. He's incapacitated. Cool. Automatically fails uh, strength and deck saves. Attacks against him are made at advantage. And now with advantage, I'm going to use my bonus action to punch him again. Uh, wow, that was some bad rolls on that. that but... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, that misses. Yeah, well, he's stunned. So he got the L, okay? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loses, I win. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened, man. Uh, Chax. Mm. Clean this place up. Uh, Chax is going to raise her orb and make Zob very big. Ooh. All right. That's going to kind of push this guy aside. And Zob becomes... Wow. 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 You can do a measurement super quick. Yeah, yeah. sure. Go for it. Uh, also, please give me yeah. a d20 roll. Yay. The only reason why someone plays a wild sorcerer. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay, and she's actually gonna back up behind Dr. Fang. She's like, <laughs> she gives him the side eye. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, all right, so I have to read this real quick. Uh, stunned until the end of your next round. God damn, that's great. Uh, yeah, so does nothing the snake is uh dazed and stunned nikolai oh okay okay the situation less vague i am okay in this one everyone um <laughs> i will star form chalice just in case things get a hand <laughs> since that's okay. a short rest resource understood you take on um, star so that will be up uh let me see is that a <coughs> it doesn't say I have to see if that's an action or bonus action, because that thing doesn't say. Uh, so bonus for, action. Okay. For the chalice? Just for activating it. It's yeah, bonus it's action bonus to activate action. start form. It's all bonus It's my action. wild shape. Yeah. Um, and I will... I'll bless. Why not? That's Very three good. people. Who are you targeting? 
Uh, Zob, Fred, and Ben. I see. <laughs> Someone's always going to Yeah, noted. <laughs> <laughs> Writing Some that one down. Bless First level bless is the most toxic spell in the game. Bless is is. such a friendship ender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we, have, we girls need to stick together, you know? <laughs> Wow, kind of fucked that Yeah, you yeah, got, uh... it's always against the world, huh? Yeah, no <laughs> Typical. I saw that flat 13 roll from Ben once, and I'm all in on him now, okay? We yeah, love did, Ben. Stack did, him up. Didn't bless the NPC. I think uh, my self inserts are really good. <laughs> I don't cool know this guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, um, bad. where did my turn order go? Oh, I, I kid, still closed I it. I uh, So, yes, that was your action and bonus action. Yeah, um, that's all for me. All right, so this thing starts scurrying over, and then it will, uh, as it do, uh, does so, you'll watch as the, the brain abdomen uh, sort of pulsates a little bit mm. uh, as a uh, is shot over at Zob. Oh, my God. Does a 17 uh, hit. That meets my AC. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it just lets out this huge psychic of a blast. Uh, Holy shit. You almost <laughs> got a so one just, shot. It just, it just it immediately just kind of makes you quake a little bit. Uh, the moment it does that, that is where uh, you're going to watch as Dr. Fang goes goes oh shit and then pulls out his gun like yeah we're gonna go we're gonna need to finish these things off uh this scurry these over. things are creepy yeah this thing's gonna scurry over here wait get away uh and oh i forgot to do something do, 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 do. uh sorry i'm trying to get this Sort it out. I think that's right. No, it is not. Ignore that. Lord. Don't look at it. Don't look ignoring. at it. <laughs> ignoring. 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 There it is. That's the one. Oh, no, wait. That was right the first time. God damn it. Um, Yeah, you're going to watch this thing scurries, and it just kind of lets out a... of a, of a burst. <laughs> uh, ignore the attack roll, but I do need a wisdom saving throw from Fred. They're rolling. Rowling. All right, you're good. No psychic damage take. It's pulsating around me. Uh, Sylvia. Um, I have psychic resistance. Correct. <gasps> so what does that mean exactly? That like, means uh, any source of psychic damage you take is halved. Oh. Well, Zop got hit by 35 halves, so that is still a lot. Okay. I'm going to use this note with Yeah, yeah it is. Side. Uh, okay, <laughs> who are you using Distant Whispers on? On the one near Fred. The one right okay. in front of me. Let's see it. Um, he'll fail. It'll fail. Uh, you will see that these spider mines are resistant to psychic damage. Uh, do so I still die? roll a yes. 1d6? Yes, you do. Uh, 13, so that's 12. That turns into six points of damage. Uh, and uh, Distant Whispers, that also makes it so that... Oh, they have to use their reaction if available to move as far away at the speed as possible. Yep, here, here we go. Bye. Uh, uh, yeah, this thing runs back up the tree. Uh, this <laughs> also provokes oh. an opportunity of attack for anyone who would like to do that. I don't know if my skeleton has that. Can uh, I do it? Uh, if you have, you can do an opportunity of or uh, an opportunity attack. If you have a weapon within reach, uh, the spider did not leave your reach, unfortunately. Dang it! Uh, uh, the skeleton can do that if you'd like. I'm um, weapon. He do and got reach. Large creature. 
Uh, yeah, that definitely hits 13 points of damage. Does the bless? Yeah, it's automatically applied. Oh, yeah, it automatically adds in, so you're good. Okay. Yep. Um, and oh. then I give uh, a bardic inspiration to Zob. Alright, thanks. Good luck! You seem like you're dying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Zob's just screaming from his brain getting exploded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is Fred. Me. <clears throat> yes. I'm going to burn the spider. Burn the spider. Which one? The one that ran away. Okay. Let's see it. Boom. <coughs> uh, that'll hit four points of damage. Boom. Uh, make sure that you're not consuming the same spell slot when you're doing that as well. Four yep, points of damage. Worry. And six points of damage. Sometimes some people will do it and be like, where did all my spell slots go? Um, I think um, it's one more, right? Usually uh, at third level, three. yes. Uh, it's one more. Yeah. You're casting at that level. There it is, baby. And this thing just is like, <laughs> this thing's like, ah! and it, it just kind of just does that spider Ooh. death thing where it like crumples up its legs, falls down and dies. You're not running away. Now finish him off, Ben. <laughs> Ben can also attack from here if you'd like. I want him to get up close and personal. Understood. Ben attacks from here. Uh, that'll hit 13 points of damage. Donk. All right. <clears throat> so Dr. Uh, Oshi, seeing that stunned, uh, is going to go ahead and do a deadly focus on this one and then take the shot. Um, as he takes the shot, he's going to... Um, Kind of blink over here. Uh, that'll hit for 12 plus 6, 18 points of damage. Uh, and then he will take uh, another shot. Not Oshi, sorry, uh, Fang. I've got so many doctors. I was going to say, what head. the hell is he doing here? Yeah, no, I got so many doctors in my head. I apologize. <laughs> uh, I keep seeing everyone in chat say, oh, it's Dr. Oshi, and I, I, it got in my fucking brain. Uh, that'll hit for 16 <laughs> points of damage. I'm easily mentally hacked. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then, oh, that was the action. That's right. Um, yeah, he's going to, from that second attack, go ahead and, and, and blink over here. And that'll end the round. Stop. Um, now, when you're DMing and talking, it, the, the brain will <laughs> just kind of break a little uh, bit. Uh, uh, uh. The spider fucking sucks, but I'm actually more worried about this thing because it takes its turn after me. So yeah. uh, I'm going to be hitting it with quite a couple of things because I have advantage on all these attacks. So first That's one's correct. a 24. That uh, hits 11 points hit of damage. For 11 damage. And I'm going to add another knockout punch to that. Please make a con saving throw. I can do that. Let's see how we do. Ooh. Success. Okay. Uh, I can't do multiple attempts of that right a turn. Or oh, yeah, you can. I, I mean, it, 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 uses a, it uses a point every time, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've can. been hit hard enough that, I mean, I'm going to hit him with another 23, and then I'm going to make him roll another save. All right, let's see it again. That fails. Uh, the stun will persist. Cool. He is stunned. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. For God. me, I'm going to... Now, use my bonus action to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to punch him again. I don't really want to get to that other spider because I know it's got an AOE. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take another swing at this one. 23. Uh, that will hit for 10 points of damage. And you just kind of cool. punch this unconscious snake around. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, I guess I'll stay put. At least I'm safer here near the healer. Yep. Uh, Chax. Yo. Yo. Um. Hold on. I have to back up, I think, like another two feet. She is going to, uh, burn two sorcery points and she's going to cast a quickened firebolt at the face python. Okay. And then she's going to cast it again. Bra, bra. Oh, buddy. Oh, You'll buddy. have advantage on the ones against the python. 
Do I? Yes, you do. Attacks do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, so if you can hit the plus I could just... Yeah, 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 you're right. Bolts. This one and Back. this. Oh, my uh -huh. God! Ooh. Chax! Oh. Chax! Chax is like... Oh, I don't know, man. She's she's freaking out. She's tweaking. <laughs> uh, Eleven points of damage. Go ahead and give me a sorcerer. Uh, go ahead and give me a wild magic roll, please. Uh, for firebolts? I or can, because I? I uh, I'm doing it because of sorcery points, but also I can do it whenever the fuck I want. Oh yeah, of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, DM. Six. <laughs> roll now. Roll now. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see some crazy shit. Uh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you launch both of those. One of them hits. She goes like. Eep. And she gets turn. <laughs> uh, stun locks, Nikolai. Uh, I'm gonna try to heal Zab up. Holy shit! <laughs> I watch this guy almost die in one turn again. <laughs> uh, I'll lead with the cure wounds. Okay. And then the oh, nice roll. Good roll. And the chalice seal right on top of that. Ooh, Ooh. very, very good roll. All they have to do is roll the same damage on their next ranged attack at me a second no, time, no, and no, I'm no, dead. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, we, we have fun here. We have so much fun. <laughs> What's really going to be fun is when uh, Zob teleports back to the arena because he forgot to take off the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, there's not much I could do with my bonus action. It's not a spell, so that's all for me. Today I feel like owning someone. Uh, Sylvia, am I going to make a lose today? Can I see this? Can I attack this spider with yes, Zob in the way? Okay. Yes, you can. Okay, so it's half psychic damage, so... Oh, Sylvia has a crossbow. That Whoa, hits. look two, at that. Two points of damage. Bam! Okay. And. Um, hey, I mean, if I took two points of damage to my brain, I'd probably die. God. <laughs> oh my fucking god! God, he's so. Uh, healing words up for a bonus. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my god, yes! Oh man, my rolls suck. Hey. Don't worry, that extra four is enough to let me survive when that spider hits me for 35. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back around. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, I mean, we're manifesting it at this point, so let's see what he's still, happens. He's still a party. Good luck. Have fun. Here we go. Oh, thank Holy. God. That hits, that hits again. 19 but... psychic damage. Yeah. Don't worry, you got... You got Healers. <laughs> oh man, it's just like Brett came into the fucking room today and was like, You're, "We're working on some ch changes for your there class. We're not ready yet today." Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we this go. guy does just complain. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you knew way. I was going to mention it. I know. Dude. I know. Oh, by the way, uh, Tomato, I wanted to let you know um, we are adjusting your character right now. Um, ah, you're resistant live. to bludgeoning damage, but because oh. you're resistant to bludgeoning damage, you are vulnerable to psychic damage. I oh, so sorry about that. So you actually oh. got one shot. Oh, oh. so sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty in character. I JK, like. JK, 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 JK. Um, yeah. So you go. Uh, what else is uh, what else is Fred doing to the spider? I saw. I saw. I, Just I, a I, firebolt I, in the little club. Oh, I didn't see the firebolt. That also hits for five points of damage. Yep. All right. Just a little quickie. <laughs> Alexi's just looking over at uh, at Zob. That is just like, are you hurt? My brain itches. <laughs> Let's see if we can end this quickly. Then uh, he's gonna go ahead and take a. Uh, he's gonna aim using deadly focus and then take a shot that'll hit 13 7 28 points of damage and this thing just you watch the brain just just pops and this thing ah! uh and yeah after that attack blinks over here takes a shot of with the snake uh that'll hit for 10 oh sorry uh that will let me roll again that'll hit for 19 points of damage Oh my god, okay. I didn't even see what this thing did. Uh, Zob. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, with its health being there and me having advantage on my next two attacks, uh, I'm going to use uh, my Strength Intimidation feature to get two Brawl points back. Can it make a Wisdom Insight check versus my Strength Intimidation? Yeah, here we go. 15. Nine. Oh, thank God. Two points. I two points back. back. And now I'm going to stomp this thing's skull like a fucking can on the you ground. You intimidated uh, <laughs> a stun snake. Yeah, screw that thing, all right? I'm not feeling good today. <laughs> Does it die? Uh, the first one definitely <laughs> kills it, ending the Ooh. encounter. What about the spider thingy that ran away? Oh, it ran oh, the tree I and then fire blasted. blasted that. Yeah, that, that thing dead. got fucked up. Oh, it's dead? Yeah, yeah it's, it's dead. cooked. It got cooked. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. All I right. feel like this wouldn't have happened if you just drank the water. Or the blood. So I'm gonna drink. Can I? All those painkillers. Yes. So, do, do the spider brains <laughs> drop anything? I am gonna down this. Uh, uh, so before you do that, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, make a uh, perception check to see if you see a thing of interest. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as you're looking around, uh, there's some um, spider. There's a. Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Um, there is uh, brain matter uh, from the spider if you'd like to excavate that. Yeah, I get my little dagger and I carve it out and put it in my little bag of holding. Whoa. It's edible? Never okay. know. These things are mm. sick. Have you ever oh, seen so we'll eat brains, brains off the floor, but not water on the ground. I'm not gonna eat it. Uh, spider mine brain matter will be in your inventory. Okay. You're uncertain I... of what it does, but you'll have to take some time to study it uh, once you're at a, a place of rest. People every... have uh, eaten anyways. brains before? Yeah, people absolutely have eaten brains before. Eat it and you get smarter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, he will approach you all. It's like, is everyone okay? Do we need to turn back? Uh, oh, we're fine. Uh, very well. Right. Uh, hiccup, you are no longer large. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If we need to take a moment to rest, now would be the time to oh, do yes. so. Wait. So, do you want rest or do you want me to help you? Uh, maybe we just take a like, um, like a little bit. Do I kick a uh, fiver right now? I can do a song of rest. We can do that. Song of rest, baby. Awesome. Oh man. <laughs> That's still green. That's good. Yeah, it's a green number. Max. Uh, That's Max. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, being a second level, you can use soothing music or uh, oration to help revitalize your wounded allies during a short rest. If you or any friendly creature can hear the Ooh. performance, regain hit points at the end of the short rest. Oh, it's added gonna... to the short rest. Yeah. So, are you guys I don't doing know if we're going to do a short rest, though. Right? Uh, we're I think we right are. Now, are we? Oh, um, we are? I think we are. I think Zob needs to. Okay. Yeah, if, I, if one more spider is out there, guys, it's over. <laughs> All right. Help Zob. I get a wild shape back. I think it'd be Stop being so scared of spiders. Short, short rest time! Alright, everyone, go ahead and take a short rest. Yay! I'd still, I'm still at D6s, so I'm gonna roll D8s and then just I don't know why myself. you're at. Oh, you know why? It's because you're a custom character. So yeah, yeah I don't know how to change that part at all. Neither do I, and I'm pretty sure I've adjusted this before, but. D8 plus. See if I can edit this real quick. Oh, here we go. All right. I believe I have changed it. Okay, I'm gonna do this manually this time, but after that, we'll do of it. Of course, of course. Properly. Uh, oh, four. Okay. Okay, that puts me at 49. Also, you heal an additional uh, six from Song of Healing. Yeah, already added Huge. to the total. Cool, cool. Huge. Uh, everyone Huge has crazy. taken their, everyone's taken their short rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. With your character sheet open, you press the S rest button. Yeah. Oh, did. Okay. Yeah, you did. I don't know why yeah. it sounded it's so indecisive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did me to move you. Uh. I know right. this is important now, but you know, like because I had to like sing during the song of rest. It was a song about spiders and brains, just so everyone knows. Mm, that That's is awesome. That is Love absolutely that. vital. In fact, really now, relaxing. Now, every time you do a song of rest, I'll ask you what you're singing about. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> add some, add some rich lore to this. Um, you'll watch as uh, Doctor Fang moves over. He goes. We're about to approach us the farthest I've I, I've been in these forests. Hmm. That means we're gonna need another a hundred. Is living forest fauna usually so aggressive? Um, I'm afraid so. Uh, if it's just one of us, it may be easier to navigate around. But with a group so big, uh, well, anyone can spot us. Hard Have you ever tried to look at one of these? Stumps? This. They look like they can open. Uh, go and do an investigation check. It's actually about to be xenomorphed. God damn. <laughs> uh, so as you crack this open a little bit to look inside, uh, it appears uh, almost like an embryonic state, kind of like an egg. And you kind of see the ooze of the egg that's from within there. And uh, he'll you'll watch as uh, uh, Dr. Fang mentions, uh, yes, uh, I'm pretty sure some sort of creature spawns from these pods. If you look around, you'll actually see some of them are completely open. Uh, shouldn't we start breaking these things then? Um, more so, I, I was hoping to observe it through its life process, although this one has clearly reached its end. Hey, Zob, you like, uh, you like eggs? Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You want to come taste this? <laughs> you know, I got my brain melted, it felt like probably it was brain spray. What so. happened to you? You used to be so cool and down for anything, and now you're just... <laughs> I don't know, it just seems bitch. like you're really interested in me eating a lot of stuff, and, uh... I don't know if you do you even know anything else about me. No, usually you just say like, eh, yeah, yeah. Eh. I just check, say oh, it's okay, it's okay. Nope. <laughs> All right, fine. You know a lot about matter me. what I'm asking you. You're gonna be like, is, can check? Can I tell him that check? Or <clears throat> I think maybe. See, um, she's answering for you already. Um, it's okay to eat egg. <laughs> it's it's okay to eat egg if you want. <laughs> Gonna eat the uh, egg now? Eat it. <laughs> well, it's not for me. M most eggs full of protein are healthy, right? Looks um, around. Well, this, while it does have egg like properties, its properties are more that of, uh, of a humanoid embryo, so. Bone check. <laughs> oh, what? You heard humanoid embryo and you humanoid thought. Humanoid embryo? <laughs> <laughs> Bones, Let's get in Jack. and check those embryo bones. <laughs> so I suppose what I'm saying is, if you are consuming this, then you would be consuming the uh, offspring of some type of humanoid. I mean, we eat meat. Oh. It's like the same thing, isn't it? That's like saying because <laughs> we eat from the cow, we should also eat from the human. Are you saying this thing creates other humans? Well, I'm saying it creates something humanoid in nature. I don't know if I would classify it yet as human. Oh, so now we can't eat anything that just stands on two legs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the world fucking coming to? <laughs> <laughs> You're free to do as you wish. I just want to make sure you had the knowledge before sampling the goods. All right. Let's. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. 
I don't think I'm hungry right now. <laughs> I think. Okay, then we move on. <laughs> Dr. Fang specifically looks to Chax and says, I don't think that was in question. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Chax has to be part of the conversation. Like, well, I'm not going to eat it. It's like, I'm not going to eat, eat it. it. <laughs> not interested. <laughs> get, get off my back. <laughs> not to my taste. Don't beg me. I simply won't. <laughs> You're still on this? <laughs> yes, thought it was important to you to know. I don't think anyone's asking you to. Well, I just wanted to make it clear. To who? The uh, brain spiders? Guys, I don't stop think they talking about either. the egg. I'm gonna go back and eat it. I'm no not one's talking. Hey, right, go back. Let's go back. Keep talking. Uh, Sylvia, are you moving <laughs> with them, or is there something that you're doing back at the egg? Can I put it in the bag of holding? The <laughs> giant cracked egg. What would you like to? Put? How would you? What would you like to? Get it in there. I. No, yeah, so we're incubating it. The answer is. <laughs> the answer is yes. Um, you can't oh take. My God this egg as a whole but it's already cracked and punched open uh you could take what's inside or you could try a strength check to try and detach it from this pod over here how are you putting this in the bag of bowls? oh no no what, whatever's inside actually oh so the the embryonic fluid oh. in the egg. yeah that's gonna be on everyone's let's get suits. more goo in the egg yeah <laughs> let's just uh, put more okay, slop in there so uh, the These suits are gonna be <laughs> nasty. <laughs> the best way you're gonna be able to do that uh, is punch a hole right in the bottom, kind of like what Fred did, uh, except in the bottom of the egg. Kind of open the bag of holding and let whatever oozes out into the bag. Mmm. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, do I have like a flask or a vial? Uh, I believe you were handed a, a vial with the slime substance. Yo, just mix it. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Sylvia, just put, just put some in your pockets. Fuck it. Sylvia, you know? let, here, letting us think they're the real questions. Hmm. It could be so interesting. Sylvia thinks she can be like a potion master, so she's gathering all these cool ingredients. Oh. Potion master with organic material. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, it says in my inventory, I have, like, a vial of perfume. Yes. Yeah, I, like, ah. dump that shit out and put the egg goo in. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird-ass Egg smell. goo mixed with some remnants of perfume. I love it. I love it. Mm. All right. Okay. So you, you, you have a this is gonna be a perfectly smelling child. Uh, somebody call this... <laughs> guys are the worst. Uh... <laughs> 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 um, living forest... Egg substance vial. Terrible, horrible, <laughs> awful, terrible. Okay, uh, I'm done. I'll skip back to the group. No, of course. Good moment. Thank you. Um, as you all gather, you will see a giant puff of spores, kind of <laughs> as if something is surfing, uh, surfacing from the ground, and you will see. Uh, oh, one second. Make sure this is appropriate. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna go ahead and watch as you see this giant, uh, feline creature, uh, launch out of uh, what, uh, what appear to be a bunch of spores. No. Oh. Uh, it looks at you, uh, with a lot of aggression. Uh, this is a spore stalker, specifically uh, a mini boss fight within the living oh. forest. Yay! Uh, so I'll roll that for next time on oh, you Dawn little of Ganymede. Thank you so much for playing. Woo! Yatta! Yatta! Do you guys have question? That? Yes! Uh, you know how some people put like snail slime on their face for skincare? Mm -hmm. No, there, no, no. No, no. Hear me out. What if um, I can, can always make try it, it out. into like skincare stuff, right? Mm -hmm, like is, mm -hmm. can I can I roll for a research or something like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. But you're you're you got, you got, when you, you got when any uh, college experience? You got any test that? subjects? Like uh, collagen. You got you got any like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Lily, if there's a, during like long rests, whenever you're doing like research or if you want to do something, just let me know uh, and we'll make it happen. I'm going to have beautiful glassy skin and you guys are going to want some. Or your face. <laughs> <is> rotten <laughs> egg goo on her face. I'm already jealous. Oh my god. You gel, egg gel. Awful. <laughs> uh, hey guys, let's go ahead and do some, some bingo, yeah? Yay! Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, good game today. Um, how you guys liking the the living forest, the dungeon? Is it is it different? Is it alien? It's I love it. Different. Good. Yeah. How do you like? Yeah, Judy, you're 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 big on the alien shit. How do you yeah. Like it? It, I I like I I liked it when we found a pool of blood. <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck yeah, that's my shit. That's Junicore. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Uh, yeah. the... All right, let's let's see. I'm sharing the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the frat bros try to fight the. Oh, that would have been amazing. Just like <laughs> you guys are traveling to the forest, and suddenly the the dude bros are there. They're like, "Hey, you fucked up our friend," and they just get into a fist fight with you in oxygen <laughs> suits. Um, the living force actively tries to harm and hinder the party. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fred oh, loses boy. money to Gamba. No. No. Nope. Ganymede lore is uncovered. Uh, I mean a little bit mm. with the living forest, I'd say. I don't remember. Technically, a nat there's a nat one. What do you well, mean technically? Yeah, I, I need more than that. Tomato rolled one when he rolled with disadvantage. That's nothing. Uh, with advantage. That's I mean, nothing. I mean, you can accept that, but then I might as well just give you a bingo right now because no, no, we're not no. trying anymore. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you need. Uh, oh, somebody steps into slash triggers a trap. No. Uh, Nikolai coaches someone again. No, we had to coach Nikolai. No. <laughs> I'm going through it. Uh, more of the purple shards found. No. Uh, internal Sylvia dialogue. Not this time. I snap. Uh, Chax engages in slash idolizes neat behavior. Okay. <laughs> Not this time. What? What? What, is that? what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, um, I'm old. Help uh, me. Okay. <clears throat> Brett, a neat, a neat uh, yes. stands for non-employed, educated, or in training. Tea. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, a neat is someone that just stays at home and doesn't do anything. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. I I understand. Thank you so much for yeah. And she is me. she is a she's a little bit of a neat, a yeah. little bit. Thank you for educating. Well, she me isn't and at home. <laughs> uh, no drug RP. So there we go. Uh, the party succeed on at least three loot rolls. No loot rolls, uh, except for the the brain that was found. Uh, more arena fights, no. Uh, Chax goes geeko mode, crawls on all fours, no. God, this uh, bingo's Skags looking bad, guys. It's Holy looking shit. real bad out here. Oh, no. Skagzag is ignored this day. No wild magic. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's a check. <laughs> yeah, there check. it is, dude. We almost got a line somewhere. In bone there. check. No, there was almost bone two check bone checks, but not yeah. quite. Almost, yeah. Brent finds, uh, Fred finds such a priest as a high quality skeleton, no. Ben gets kato no. The party leaves the dome, yes. Yeah. Zah partakes in a addictive substance. So <laughs> yeah. if I did that, I did technically not. Yeah. I almost did. Uh, Nikolai has a moral crisis. Absolutely. Oh, brother. Jesus. Dude, we're about to make a smiley it's face. A smile. This is Yay! <laughs> oh, deep emotional backstory of why Zob hates losing. No. You can just no. not like to lose. You know, it doesn't need to be a big thing. <laughs> losing killed my grandpa. <laughs> but this is a and d show. Everything has to be a big thing. Uh, Nikolai gets violent. Uh, no. No. Zob eats something normally classified as an edible. Almost. So close. Yes. Almost fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. When's <laughs> Fred gonna eat something, man? Yeah, When's what? Fred gonna eat? He goats people to do things. Now He's you have to dude. go back to town and get a mirror so he can finally get that bone check. Mm. We've He's all so been scared for. of checking his yeah, bones. But how much yeah. of a plus do I get for Ooh. ego? Uh, I, I, nothing. Absolutely nothing. What the fuck? Yeah. I, I can't wear rose-tinted glasses for myself. 
I mean, yeah, you can. It's called seeing the number and going, that ain't right. And then keeping to that term. You can, yeah, you, you can, can just lie to us. You can just lie. Yeah, you can just see the result. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can just see the result. Go but if like, it's like bad and I lie, then these guys are going to go like, no, no. Well, look. No, then we just do no, insight checks no. and then we say no. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've owned you with numbers. <laughs> see, this guy really is just D20 pilled. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I said that. Cause that's that thing I usually say, and I think I think it is. Yeah, that was like unhit. Like I actually fucking froze in my chair. I was yeah, like, yeah. what did he just say? I think <laughs> I, I, I think I'm I think honestly I'm Junie Pill because I'm pulling out. Real, I'm real, out. fucking finally. <laughs> learning, I learned it all from Juniper. I'm like, it, Junie's my resident zoomer. I'd be like, what is. What is neat? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much, and we will continue next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. Later, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.